This automation will help you gain hundreds, if not thousands of targeted new followers per week on autopilot. And it's something very few people know about and even fewer people implement. It's also approved by Meta, so it's entirely safe to use and you won't have to worry about getting in any form of trouble on that front. Now, typically when you think about ManyChat, you likely think about it as a way to generate leads. You have people reply to your story or comment on a post and you'll send them a DM with a link or respond to their comment. That's great and in itself can help you increase your engagement and grow your following. But today I'm going to show you a simple automation you can set up so whilst you are generating new leads you are also bringing in hundreds if not thousands of new followers and building momentum with your growth, your content and your account. This works regardless of if you're a creator, business owner, personal brand, anyone. Let's dive into it. Now this is the mini chat dashboard. I'm gonna go over here and click new automation and start from scratch. Now you can use one of their templates. I'm just gonna build it from scratch so that you've got a good understanding of how everything moves together and how to set it all up. Now the first thing we're gonna do is create a trigger, which is how you set up any mini chat automation. Uh, and so we're gonna go when a user comments on your post or reel, we can select a specific post if we wanna do that, or we can just leave it as all posts or reels. Um, if we just select this one specific one here and just assume we're running it for this one post. Uh, we'll go continue, we'll choose the keyword, um, we'll say growth because this video is going to be about growing your audience. Um, but you know, you could use this for if you're giving away something of a lot of value, then you would use a keyword relevant to what you are giving away. And then we're going to continue. Then you get the option of like, do you send replies to the people who comment as in like on the post itself or not? What you can do here is you can set up um, multiple different replies that it will cycle through. So they're not all the same. Uh, where it's like, you know, details delivered, check your inbox or, you know, just sent it over. What do you think um, about this or what made you interested in this? Which would prompt people to then respond in the comments, which would help your reel get more reach because you're getting more engagement on it. But for simplicity and of this video, we're just gonna say no, and we're gonna save it there. And that is gonna mean that our trigger is set up. So this way, if we post a reel and we're like, hey, we're gonna be giving away this thing here that's of a lot of value. Maybe it's a free training or something. Maybe it's, maybe it's teaching you something. Maybe it's access to software that you're giving away. Maybe it's access to some sort of invite only club that you're setting up. Who knows what it is? Um, something of a lot of value. People have to comment to gain access. That trigger is now set up within mini chat. So the next thing that we're going to do is actually not going to be straight away send the message. Now you could straight away send the message. There's sort of a few ways you could um, do this automation. But the first thing that I am going to set up is I'm going to go over here and I am going to add a condition. And that's where the difference hits here because a lot of the time in the past when I've made uh, tutorials about mini chat, I would encourage people to have a trigger word and then straight away deliver the, whatever it is, ebook, training, freebie, link, whatever it is uh, in the first message. And that works really effectively. But if you're trying to also gain followers, this is something that you might want to consider. So. The first thing we're going to grab is to the condition and we're going to add a condition of follows your Instagram account. And then we're going to drag the first one over to here and then we're going to grab drag the second one over to here. And so now we've got it set up that when someone comments on our post, ManyChat is going to check if they follow your account. And so if they follow your account, uh, it's going to send them a message and it's going to be like, hey, um, and then maybe we personalize it and say, hey, first name, here's a link to the free training about XYZ that you requested. Uh, and then we might leave it at that. Or, you know, let me know if you have any questions and I'll be here to help. Pretty simple, we're gonna add a button um, open website and that website is going to be yourwebsite.com simple um, free training 
keep it really simple. Now, obviously you might put a little bit more detail, a little bit more personalization when you're doing this yourself. But I'm just walking you through how you would set up sort of the structure of things. Now, the second message is gonna be for people who don't match any of these conditions. So this message here, delivering the free training is gonna to go to anyone who comments and they follow your account. But if they comment and they don't follow your account, it's gonna send them uh, this message. And so here, we're pretty much just gonna be mentioning that this is only for followers and then prompting them that if they want it, they can follow, if they don't, understandable. So we might put, um, hey, first name, Sadly, as this is a premium training we're giving away for free, we are only giving it to followers. If you're still interested in the XYZ, so whatever it is, then you can follow us and we'll send it over. Otherwise, no hard feelings really simple um and then we might add a couple quick requires where it's like got it followed you got it followed now um and then we might add another reply where it's like no uh not interested so that prompts people to either say, you know, we get it, we're gonna follow you, or not interested, which is also fair enough. I should gonna drag this over here and just say like, um, that's fair enough. Thanks for your time. So if someone sees that message and are not interested in following to get it, that's fair enough. There's not a lot that you can do at that point. You just leave it alone. Um, if someone says or hits the button of like, got it, followed now, um, we're gonna then bring them back to a, another condition which is going to be the same thing follows your instagram so it's going to check a second time we check the first time they're not following you sent a message saying that hey if you want this then you can follow us and so then we're going to check if they followed us or if they've just said the message and not done it uh, and we're going to push that back to this original message so if they then watch it see that message follow they get sent the training if not, we're pretty much just going to send them back to this. Um, and then what I might also do, just trying to get these lines that are a little bit less messy and all over the place. It's going to be a little bit messy regardless, but um, you can figure that out. Is also on this one here, so next step, like if someone sees this message um, and then sends something else as a reply, uh, we might just put that up to there as well. Um, or we might put a smart delay where it like waits 23 hours and then checks if they've followed. Um, so if they said something else as a reply, then there's a little delay in there and then it'll check uh, and so on. So if they don't click one of those buttons and they say something else, then, uh, you know, maybe instead of saying, got it followed now, they might just type out whatever they want to type uh, or wait 23 hours and then check the condition um, and then send them a link. And so that's relatively straightforward you probably don't have to add this one in you can just have that condition there uh, but there's a way that you're going to set it up so that you encourage people to follow now being fully transparent when you're asking someone to follow you to get access to a piece of content you're asking for more from them and so you're going to have to give more to get that you're probably not going to do this on something that's low value something that's low end is something simple that you've chucked together um and something like that you're probably just asking for an email if it's something that's more valuable if it's something that's more rare if it's something that you put a lot of time into if it's something that you typically charge for and maybe you're giving it away for free for a limited time only you might expect someone to give you their email and follow you and so that's where this comes in and so naturally for this to work you have to be doing and giving away something quite useful um, and also understand that the more you're asking of people, the less people that will actually jump in and do it. Because naturally, if all someone has to do to gain access is to click a link or to give you their email or to go on YouTube um, or to watch it directly on Instagram, it's a lot easier. And so as you start adding more steps of like, hey, you've got to comment on our post and then you've got to follow us and then you've got to go to this website, naturally less and less people are going to do it. So look at what you're optimizing for like are you optimizing to generate the most amount of leads in which you probably don't ask people to follow you 
are you trying to maximize follower growth so that you can build your audience faster and then you can generate more leads off the back of that you can build some momentum and um, look at what you're optimizing for and then make your decisions based on that because everyone in a different situation will have a different thing that suits best you might want something like this set up or you might want to keep it really simple and just literally have that and then send over that and um, so that's how you set it up for follower growth i think it's worth you try it out see what performs well obviously this is only going to be something that works if you are reaching non-followers because if your content is only going out to followers then everyone's just going to see this everyone's going to get everyone's going to comment many chat will see they follow they'll send it out but it's probably a good thing to set up anyway so if someone doesn't follow you they get prompted to uh, and then pushed into the funnel so that's a brief look at a very simple way of setting this up you can start bringing in lots of other elements 